Greetings. And our reading is in Acts chapter 4, verses 23 through 31. After they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and everything in them. It is you who said by the Holy Spirit through our ancestor David, <clears throat> your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look at their threats and grant to all your servants to speak your word with boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. So, the people we're talking about here are, are Peter and John. And they were continually preaching, converting people to, to be followers of Jesus. This was before it was really called Christianity, um, although we would understand it at that. Um, certainly, the Jewish leaders here wanted this whole thing put the rest, right? And they weren't happy with them and had them arrested. Now, they couldn't charge them with anything. But what they did do was threaten them and warn them to keep their mouths shut, right? And, and remember, in Jerusalem, it was the temple that, hold, that ha had its own police force, and it was the temple that pretty much was the economic center of the city. So those threats came with some weight behind them. Peter and John, however, would not be silenced. Right? They continued to preach about Jesus, despite what Jewish leadership said, and encouraged others, as we see in this text, to do the same. That's our key here, that the message of the gospel must be Never be silent. The people the key, can never forget that how much people need to hear the message of Jesus. As much as it is so important to us, it is that important to everybody else as well. Our primary responsibility as followers of Jesus is simply to share what that message means to us. Let us pray. Heavenly God, give us strength to share your message of love, even when it is difficult or seems like no one's listening. Heavenly God, remind us that your message is the one message that can give everlasting hope to our world. Heavenly God, we pray for an end to senseless violence. We pray, dear God, that rather instead we would find ways to get along, to cooperate, and to keep each other safe. Be with all of those who have been affected by this violence. Protect all those who are afraid. Heavenly God, we pray for those suffering because of this pandemic. Those, dear God, who are tired of being home alone, doing nothing. Those 
dear God, who work on the front lines, those who suffer with the virus, those who suffer because they've lost loved ones. Heavenly God, give the world this vaccine and bring us back to a time of when we can be together again. It is through our Lord and Savior that we do pray. Amen.